There's a quality to all British composers, especially at that time, the late 1800s, early 1900s. This is a, a time when um, composers in Britain really started to come to the fore. Although they were looking to the continent for inspiration, they were also looking back towards folk music or other elements that really inspired them. And for a lot of English composers, that's the landscape, that's the very culture of, of things that we experience when we're British. And many of these composers are really drawn from what's around them, and what's around them is an incredible landscape. It's exactly what you imagine. It's rolling hills and sheep, and all of the things that sort of define us as British people. That really comes through in the music. It's hard to really explain how that comes through, but it's incredibly evocative. Well, the Herbert Howells is a beautiful work. Um, it was originally written for one of his friends who passed away in the First World War. And it's an incredibly intimate and touching portrait of a friendship. There's a moment when the string quartet take over and it sounds as though he's screaming and asking why, why this happened. There's no question that the Walton is one of the biggest pieces in the repertoire for a violist. He pushes us to be as virtuosic as any other instrument, but at the same time asks us to play with such an intimate quality. There are moments that are explosive, almost Hollywood-esque, big tutti moments where you're almost knocked off your seat. And then there are incredibly private, intimate moments. One of my favorite parts of the entire concerto is the end of the first movement where the opening figure returns. It's such a beautifully sad and evocative moment with the orchestra. Beautifully written.